Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren and today I'm going to be making a video for you talking about why I think it's important to not care about what other people think and my top tips for when you are caring about what other people think because let's be honest, a lot of times I do, everybody does, uh, kind of what you can do to get yourself out of that funk. I thought it would be good to first give you a little bit of context about my relationship with caring about what other people think. How many times can I say it, but seriously. So I would say that I'm somebody who's gone really back and forth, kind of between caring and not caring. And I would say that my biggest takeaway is that I find when I do care about what other people think, I'm not happy with myself. I feel like I'm making decisions that just aren't me. I like know that I'm doing that, so it's kind of dumb. I just find that I honestly just don't feel very great about myself. I have definitely gone back and forth in life. I would say a lot of times when I'm trying to be somebody that I'm not because I care about what other people think, I make really bad decisions and you know hurt people that I do care about that actually like me for who I am. So that's definitely you know part of why I wanted to make this video. I also wanted to make this video because I currently have somebody close to me, one of my parents, that just never ever seems to believe in me. And it's like, okay, cool, this is fun. 25 years in, like, let's keep playing. But seriously, so it's just one of those things where I was like, you know what, I just can't care what he, what he thinks anymore. Okay, that gave it away, it's obviously my dad, but I just can't care what he thinks anymore. So I thought that this was a very fitting video for my life right now. Now that you kind of know the context and you know that I typically feel my worst when I care about what other people think and I'm not being myself, let's get into why I think it's important to be yourself and to not care what other people think because I think they go hand in hand. The number one thing to remember is that you deserve a life where you don't care what other people think. I think that when you're living a life where you're worried about what others are saying about you and stuff, that's just a very shallow and tiresome life to live. And I just think that, you know, everybody deserves to live a life where they have the ability to see beyond that. And they're like, all right, I am who I am. I've accepted myself and I deserve to live a good life where I don't care what other people think. And I think that you also have to realize that like other people don't deserve to control your life. They don't deserve it. Who, who is it that's trying to do it? And do they really deserve it? Cause probably not. So I think that if that's what you're worried about and that's who you care about, cause I think that's a lot of the situation, or even if it's not somebody who's trying to control your life, but they're trying to control what you do cause they're like hating on you. I think it's just really important to remember that they don't deserve it and you deserve a life where you don't care about that. I think the other thing that's really important to remember is that when you care about what other people think, I think you're rarely reaching your full potential. And I think that you owe it to yourself to reach your full potential. And I think a lot of that starts when you let go of what other people think about you. All right, so now that I've explained why it's important, let's jump into kind of my top tips for when you're in a funk and you are caring about what other people think and you're like, <laughs> like, why am I being this person? I hate myself for being like this. So these are the top four tips that I've found that have worked for me. So my first tip is relativity. Do you care what this person thinks? That's like the first thing that you need to ask yourself. Who are they? Do you care? Why do you care? Do you really care now that you've asked yourself why you care? Because you probably don't. I think you need to realize too, like if somebody is saying something about you and somebody does care, they likely won't care about it in a couple days. Like they're probably just pissed about something and they just are like, oh my God, I can't stand this person. And I can't stand that they're doing that because they're like mad about something else. So remembering everything's relative and does it really matter at the end of the day what so-and-so thinks of you because a lot of times you realize it won't. Number two, if you couldn't make it through number one and that wasn't helpful, um, number two, remember that it's just you. This is the advice that I always give my sister. She's 10 years younger than me. At the end of the day, it's just you. So it might feel like you need to fit in, you just need to be friends with these people, or you need to have this certain reputation. I really think that you need to realize that, yeah, maybe you have that during your everyday life, but at the end of the day, when you lay your head on the pillow, it's just you, even if you lay next to somebody, honey. It is just you, and what you think about yourself is the only thing that matters. So I think that is really, really important. And I think the other thing to remember is, you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. I realized this was a huge difference between me and my mom when we were hiking. And I think we were both like a little delusional, so we were both being really brutally honest. And she was telling me about how she's like got all of her self-worth from building up and building these accomplishments. And I'm like, I was born with self-worth. I, I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, 
what? I feel like you're just born with it. You don't have to ever prove yourself to anyone. So I think that's really important to remember if you're worried about what somebody else is thinking of you is that it's just you at the end of the day and you don't need to prove yourself to them. If tip two wasn't helpful, here's tip number three. So I think that you need to accept yourself. I think that it's really important to realize that you are the way that you are. Is what somebody who's hating on you saying true? Because it might be. And are you okay with that? Because are you more okay with being yourself than you are okay with having so-and-so as a friend or having such and such reputation? You know what I mean? I think that's what you need to ask yourself. And I think you need to realize that you need to accept yourself and you need to accept haters and you need to accept, I hate that word, but you need to accept people who are negative in your life because or negative about how you live your life because I think they're always gonna be there, whether it's a boss or a parent or for my mom, it's like a kid. My sister is sometimes kind of judgy. I'm sometimes kind of judgy. It just, it can range. So I just think it's really important. And then my last tip is if you're still really worried about something or something's still bothering you about what somebody said is to find a group if you don't already have one or if you do have a group of people who accept you for who you are to hang out with them because I think that a lot of times it just takes like being around the right people to feel good about yourself again if you are really stuck in that mind funk and I think that it's great to be able to practice being yourself around other people who accept you and who are also themselves. I just think that, you know, at the end of the day, that's the type of people that you want to surround yourself with. So I hope that you got a couple tips out of this and some insight into why I think it's important to, you know, be yourself and to not worry about what other people think. Again, like I said, for me, it's really an up and down journey, but at the end of the day, whenever I kind of morph myself to be somebody else's image of me, I end up hating myself. When I lay my head down on, on the pillow at the end of the day, I'm like, I hate you. But anyways, I just thought that maybe this would help somebody and I hope that you have a great day. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think on this, any tips that help you for, you know, not caring about what other people think or being your most authentic self and reaching your full potential and I will talk to you guys later. I hate how I always end it like it's a phone call. It's like, Lauren, it's a video. You don't have to end it like you're on like a, like a call. Whatever. All right, talk to you guys later. I just did it again. Ugh. Okay, bye. See, I'm caring right now. What do you think? And that's bad. Back to my normal self. You should like. You should subscribe. You should let me know what types of videos you want to see. I like talking about this type of mental health stuff. All right.